What is going on guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including, is this tournament cursed? Main Event J is now the Eater of Worlds. Are we going to get UFC versus WWE matches? A fan jumps into the ring, Alexa Bliss teases her return, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos, and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. And now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at the King of the Ring tournament cursed. As the 2024 King and Queen of the Ring tournaments replace the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship as the last place any wrestler wants to be right now, Fans will recall the unusual number of wrestlers who were injured while they held the women's tag titles, and now superstars competing in the King and Queen of the Ring tournaments are dropping like flies, including Asuka, Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, and Xavier Woods, with Zelina Vega being the latest. Raw General Manager shared the bad news on X, saying, I have a bit of unfortunate injury news. Zelina Vega will not be medically cleared to compete tonight, and therefore will be stepping out of the Queen of the Ring tournament, which is unfortunate given her past history as a Queen of the Ring. It would have been nice to see her try to regain that crown, but injury bug strikes again, which opens the door of opportunity for one Maxine Dupree who will receive the biggest opportunity of her young career as she will step in tonight against Shayna Baszler. Once again, Zelina Vega out, Maxine Dupree in. Zelina, who became the inaugural Queen's Crown winner in 2021, tweeted about her absence saying, heartbroken, being the first ever that crown was... Okay, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. But that being said, I'm super grateful to have a history-making moment in WWE history books. The 8-year-old me is still super proud. Shayna Baszler, this ain't over. You can be Queen of Spades, keep playing them cards. I'll forever be the first ever Queen of the Ring. Maxine, you got this sis, show them who you are. And for those wondering, Maxine didn't pull off an upset, which means Baszler advanced to the quarterfinals and will face Io Sky. Meanwhile, fans are puzzled by the incredible amount of injuries plaguing the WWE and AEW. Both promotions have seen various stars sideline, and while the companies have deep rosters, it's a problem that needs to be investigated, especially if it's something that can be corrected with changes in schedules, the type of moves used in matches, or something else. While there's also the possibility that this is just an unfortunate series of events, it makes sense that the alarming number of injuries weren't some sort of inquiry. Next up, WWE looking for changes to WWE crowds. It looks like the WWE is hoping to recreate the fan enthusiasm from Backlash France with its domestic shows. Fightful's Corey Brennan is reporting, Fightful has learned that Jey Uso's reactions at Backlash were received incredibly well within WWE, with the company planning to heavily push fans towards mimicking the Leon crowd for Jey's entrances in the future. The fans' enthusiasm was incredible, although there were different opinions on the fans' response, with critics arguing that the fans made the show more about themselves than the in-ring action. Nonetheless, some fans and WWE superstars absolutely loved it, and WWE management apparently wants more of it at live events. Next up, is Jey Uso getting a different entrance? The WWE's rumored goal of hyping up its fans at shows has already led to change in a top star's entrance. Fightful Select's Corey Brennan is reporting, We're told that the crowd lighting will continue to be dimmed during Uso's entrance and any example of Uso's theme being played in the mainstream will continue to be showcased on television. Made event Jey Uso commented on the fans lighting up the arenas with their cell phones during his entrance, tweeting, Y'all ain't got no damn choice. Fireflies are mine now. Hashtag Yeeter of Worlds. If fans continue to get behind Jay by lighting up arenas with fireflies, there has to be the question of whether this will turn into a storyline should Uncle Howdy return to the WWE. Could Howdy target Jay for what he sees as Uso stealing Bray Wyatt's entrance? It's a possibility that shouldn't be ruled out. What do you guys think about this change by the WWE as well as Jay's comments? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, LA Knight discusses major matches moved to live event. LA Knight was one of several superstars who had their King and Queen of the Ring tournament matches move from TV to live events, a situation that some fans felt was a letdown for said superstar. The WWE reportedly had to move a few matches because it didn't have the time to air them all on Raw and SmackDown, resulting in the matches taking place at live events. However, LA Knight seems to be okay with this match being moved as Knight tweeted, I appreciate everyone saying this match should have been on TV, but no need to throw live event crowds under the bus. Live events are where the WWE roster has as much fun as possible. Not only having a great match, but a match with a huge stakes makes the live events more fun. While the WWE might deserve blame for poor time management, that is trying to schedule so many matches on Raw and SmackDown, given its struggle to fit in many matches on Raw, SmackDown and even PLEs, Knight raises a very good point about the matches enhancing live events. 
The WWE's live events are fun shows for fans, but it's long been established that nothing of consequence occurs at them, primarily title changes. Title changes are unlikely to occur at live events, especially since title changes are infrequent if not rare. Nonetheless, it's likely refreshing for fans to go to shows knowing they're seeing matches with consequences for the WWE product. Do you guys agree with LA Knight's take on things? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, did Dana White just open the door for UFC vs WWE matches? Could WWE fans see UFC fighters stepping into the WWE to work matches? UFC President Dana White seemed to open the door for this during a recent post-show press conference saying some of the fighters that fight here have always dreamed about doing a WWE match or whatever it is. I don't have a problem with that. I didn't have a problem with that when Vince was constantly effing me around for no reason. And now that's not the case anymore. Obviously, I'd absolutely do it. Vince McMahon's exit from the WWE continues to make more things possible, including WWE wrestlers appearing in other promotions and vice versa. Now that WWE and UFC are under the Endeavor umbrella, there are plans to hold weekend events featuring UFC and WWE shows, a situation that may lead to the WWE moving PLE events from Saturday to Sunday. Having UFC fighters work an occasional match could help both companies. While both companies are doing very well, there's always a pressure to do better, especially with a publicly traded company. Next up, what does Will Ospreay think about Adam Copeland? What does Will Ospreay think about WWE Hall of Famer Adam Copeland working in AEW? Ospreay not long ago shared his thoughts on Triple H questioning wrestlers who didn't want to work the grind in WWE and had this to say about the rated R superstar's presence in All Elite Wrestling. The one thing that needs to be said out loud, it's so effing amazing having Adam Copeland in the locker room and putting on these types of matches in this part of his career. Copeland certainly has been phoning it in during his time in AEW and he's made a point to appear regularly on AEW's different TV shows and pay-per-views. The Rated R Superstar made it clear that he jumped to AEW because he didn't want to finish his career with limited appearances, which was apparently the role that WWE offered him. Would you guys like to see Copeland and Osprey work a match down the road? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, a fan jumps the barricade and pays for it. A video of a foolish fan's failed efforts to apparently rush the ring during an episode of AEW Collision is now circulating online. Ringside News reports an apparent fan jumped the security barricade and presumably was on their way to the ring after the match finished. However, security caught the inept intruder with video showing the individual being taken away. Wrestling fans being wrestling fans erupted with a chant of UF dub only to add to the person's embarrassment. And finally, Alexa Bliss teases her return. Last but not least, Alexa Bliss fans should take note as Little Miss Bliss dropped a note on X recently teasing her return. Just you wait. While this tweet isn't much to go on, Bliss backers are so excited about her pending return at this point, they'll take anything as evidence of a return. She hasn't been on TV since she lost a match against Bianca Belair at 2023's Royal Rumble, and fans are curious as to whether she'll continue what appeared to be a storyline involving Uncle Howdy, as we reported last week, is expected at the King of the Ring, or something else. As for Bliss, she hinted a return at SummerSlam, which takes place in her hometown of Cleveland, but for now, fans will have to wait. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.